time around, I found a little guy who's a monster on the charts, and his name's Michael Jackson. Michael, Hi. welcome to Countdown. Thank you. A new single that's being released in Australia this week called Going Places, and already a monster on the American charts. Can you tell us a little about that single? Um, it was recorded in Philadelphia, written by Gamble and Huff, and uh, we, we really enjoy doing it, and it's a title song to the album. It's called Going Places, and uh, I think you'll be getting it soon, and it's doing very well here. Now tell me, what do you think is the success of the Jacksons, yourself and the Jacksons? I would say probably uh, togetherness or um, just enjoying our work a lot, putting a lot of love into it, all our efforts. You've sprung up a bit since I saw you last. <laughs> yeah. Um, Everybody has. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how have you taken it over the last five years? I mean, success. Yeah. Has um, it affected you much? In, in a joyful way, in a rejoicing way, because I, I love it. You have to like it to be in it this long, yeah. or you go crazy. It's, it's so much. We've been traveling the world and making records and just having a great time. Well, this current single that, that as I said, has been is becoming a huge hit in the States, and no doubt it'll be a hit in Australia, called Going Places. I think the one thing uh, over the past five years since I've seen you, Michael Jackson's certainly gone places. Yes, and thanks thank for you. being on the show. Thank you. Paul? You roll, mate. Sorry, roll too. Don't worry. Right. Uh, it, it sort of strikes us, especially back in Australia, when you see sort of yourselves and uh, the Osmonds, where there are two families that are consistent hit makers um, and give this incredible feeling that, that they are so together, not only as a group and a performing artist, but as a family themselves. Now, and especially yourselves, uh, the Jacksons. I mean, is that togetherness there as far as the family Yes, it is. It is. A lot of togetherness. It's very important. Now listen, you've, a lot's happened. I mean, like, five or six years ago, um, you, you and your brothers and your dad toured Australia. And uh, since then, I mean, like, you've had multi, multi uh, million dollar sellers and you've been on top of the charts. Uh, but you've now would like to, so we can't cover all of that. Now I'm doing a movie called The Wiz with uh, Diana Ross and myself and Richard Pryor. It's going very well. Well, now, when, I, when you were out in Australia, and I remember we actually presented you with a footy, um, you at that stage were sort of uh, groaning a little because you had a few lectures to do, you had to keep up with your schoolwork and yeah. things like that. Um, do you regret having to keep up with your schoolwork? No, I, I enjoy it. I love to read and learn and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Now, um, over in Australia, we've seen you on many of the big shows, like like the, the, the big music awards and things like that. Oh, yeah. And your little sister's been on, on a few oh, of them. Oh, yeah. She's a funky little sister. Ah! Uh, <laughs> she is She's funky. She's amazing. Um, <laughs> but, um, I mean, the demand on you has been amazing, sort of, as far as, like, you've had to go into an adult world, more or less. I mean, did you find that hard to cope with, Michael? You mean, as far as our music? Yeah, and the demand as far as you having to go on all these shows and, 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 and sort of really compete against the adults as far as hosting things and things like oh. that. No, it's part of the business and uh, it comes at you all the time. It's, it's up to you whether you want to do or not, so yeah. um, we do whatever we can. Right? Now, it's almost ironical that, that, that you are starring in The Wiz, the, the film of The Wiz, uh, and, and playing um, opposite or with uh, the lady that really discovered you, Diana Ross. Um, <laughs> What was it? What did, how did you feel when you heard you got the part in The Wiz? And especially playing with Diana Ross. I was um, very happy because, uh, well, I loved the play so much. I'd seen it six times before I even knew I was going to be in it. And um, I would talk to Diana on the phone. I'd say, you're going to film The Wiz next week, huh? Or, or next month. And she would say, yeah, next thing I noticed, I was in it. And they called me, asked me, did I want to do it? I said, yeah. So they sent the script, I came up, met everybody. And, and what part are you playing in The Wiz? Scarecrow. The Scarecrow? Yeah. <laughs> Too much. Uh, I love it too. And so, have you, have you started filming that yet? Yes, we've been filming about two months and a half. Yeah. we got about four months to go. I wish you luck with the film. And Thank we you. hope that you and your family come down to Australia soon. And oh, we tour. love Australia. Okay, Michael. Thank you. Thanks for